Angies, welcome to the channel if you're new or if you're not. I am so glad you're here either way. It's Halloween, and if you can't tell already, and you know we get a little corny on the channel this time of year. Sorry, I couldn't resist. And today we are making Halloween party dishes. Hosting over the holidays is one of my favorite things to do, and Halloween is no exception. Today we are making a candy corn vegetable tray, a brie and puff pastry mummy, ooh, and a Halloween spooky pizza. So much fun, let's get into it. First up, we're making a candy corn veggie tray. For this tray, I started with a big board and I added some white cauliflower pieces and white baby carrots to get the outline and then get it filled in. I found it helpful to build the outline of the entire candy corn first. For the orange layer, I used orange baby carrots and orange slices of bell peppers. And for the yellow bottom layer, I used yellow baby carrots and yellow bell peppers. Then I filled it in, mostly with bell peppers and carrots, and I wanted it to be really saturated, so I filled in some of the gaps with orange and yellow baby tomatoes. It was a pretty organic process, but the overall idea is get the outline down and then fill it in. I added some guacamole and hummus to the board so that there could be some dips with these dippers, and I wanted this to be a full covered picture effect. So I covered the rest of the board with purple cauliflower florets and then filled it in with some purple baby carrots and black olives. Yum, delicious, nutritious, and festive. I mean, look at how fun that is. I know it's not candy, but sometimes at a Halloween party, I need a break from the sweets, and I tend to appreciate when someone also brings a healthier snack to nosh on. There is no better way to enjoy veggies, in my opinion. Okay, let's move on to my brie and puff pastry mummy. Mwahahaha. Place a wheel of brie on a baking tray. I added some eyes by using ketchup glue. You could also use hot sauce. But then I put on mini pepperonis and some black olives on top to create this eye effect. Separately, add thawed puff pastry to a floured surface and cut it into strips. Use those to cover your brie wheel up like a mummy. I pressed the strips down on the sides of the brie and then cut about an inch around and tucked in those puff pastry edge pieces underneath the wheel of brie. Separately, whisk together an egg and some milk and then brush that mixture on top of the puff pastry strips. Into the oven it goes. Your brie should be warmed through and the puff pastry should be a nice golden brown. Wow, I don't know if a brie could get more Halloween festive than that. I am serving it up with some assorted crackers and veggie dippers. This dish is satisfying and delicious, but it is also totally gonna wow your guests. I hope you're enjoying these Halloween party food recipes so far. I wanted to quickly nudge you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more recipes and content and let you know that all of my recipes are always linked in the description box for easy access to my website, which offers hundreds of healthy recipes and print-friendly options for free. Did I already say free? Did I already say that was free? Okay, I've got one more party dish for you, and this one might be my favorite of the day. It is a Halloween spooky pizza. Say what? First, we're gonna roll out your pizza dough. I got fresh dough from the grocery store, but any will work or you could make your own. I prefer to not pre-bake my store-bought dough, but you can do it either way. I roll out the dough to get a nice sized pizza and cover the pizza with pizza sauce. And then it's time to make our little cheese ghosts. I am using provolone cheese instead of mozzarella because of the circular shape of the cheese. I'm simply cutting the pieces of cheese like you would, almost like the half of a yin yang. And voila, a little ghost shape. <laughs> Of course, you could use any flavor or type of cheese and cut a ghost shape, but this was a pretty easy way that leaves no cheese residuals behind. I use black olive bits to create the faces of the ghosts and then add some olive spiders to the pizza. I simply cut olives in half for the body, and then I use another olive cut in half with each half cut into four pieces as legs. Cute! On they go. Okay, now all that's left to do is bake. 
This turned out so well. I don't know what it is, but when food looks this fun, it really tastes that much better. I added some fresh basil as well, but you could really get creative here with your favorite toppings in general. There is no right or wrong way to make a festive pizza. I hope you'll give these Halloween recipes a try. All of these recipes are linked below in the description for easy access. And we have also done a ton of really crazy fun Halloween recipes and videos over the years that I will also link below if you want to check some of those out. Thank you so much for being here. Have a safe and happy Halloween. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.